Hey everyone, my name is Nat. Welcome to my backyard and welcome back to my series I'm doing on building this big bandsaw mill. In the last video we got the frame for the track all welded up and flat and square. So in this video we're going to go ahead and get started adding some stuff to that frame. We're going to get the runners attached as well as these tracks on the side which will guide the carriage for the whole mill. So let's get to drilling some holes. So I'm going to get started with the stainless steel runners and I'll be drilling the holes that will allow them to be mounted to the frame. Now I still have my hole location template from when I drilled the frame parts so I can transfer the hole locations to these runners with a center punch. So here is the socket head cap screw and washer that's going to hold this runner down to the frame. So this runner has to have a hole in the top of it that's big enough for the washer and head to pass through and then a hole in the bottom that is big enough for the threads to pass through as well. So there's going to be two holes, two different sizes. The washer is a three quarter inch diameter so I'm going to drill a seven eighths inch hole in the top side so it'll give me plenty of clearance to get this thing down in here. And then the threads on here is three eighths of an inch so I'm going to drill this bottom hole at 7 16 so if things don't line up perfectly it'll give me a little wiggle room for that. So I'll drill through both the top and the bottom in one go with one bit in the drill press and now I'll align those holes perfectly from top to bottom and then I can enlarge them from there. So I still have five more of those stainless steel runners to drill, but those are getting kind of boring. So I'm going to switch to drilling these for now. Now on these, I was thinking about using these socket head cap screws again in here, but I'm probably just going to switch to using a bolt, just a standard uh, bolt. The one thing that I don't like about using these in this application is that water will pool in the socket head, and then I guess it doesn't really matter, but I don't know. <laughs> With this you don't have to really worry about that, but the advantage of the socket head cap screw is that you don't have as much room around it. So for instance with the using a bolt, you have to have enough room for the socket to actually go around the bolt and grab it. In this instance, again not really that big of a deal, even with the socket on there, it's the big one, I can still be like about halfway in the material here and have no problem getting at the head of the bolt. And to drill these, I'm going to just clamp these together and then drill a quarter inch hole through both pieces. And then I'll come back and enlarge the hole for the tap in the underside here in the frame. And then I'll drill a larger clearance hole in the top. So I'll have room to adjust these rails around. 
Now one thing I didn't think of when I was planning this is that the stainless steel runners are the same width as the cross members of the frame, which means that these rails can't go in to adjust, they can only go out. So I think what I'll do later is I'll put a little bevel on the ends of the, uh, the stainless steel runners so that there's a little clearance space on the bottom here for this rail to kind of come in and out if it needs to. So I'm going to use this first bolt hole to keep the track in position as I drill the rest of the holes. So in order to do that, I'm just going to enlarge the hole in the track to 3 eighths of an inch and that will hold it in position and then when I'm done drilling all the holes, I can come back and enlarge this a bit further. Now I can go along and drill out all the holes. I'm going to add one at every intersection of the cross members and one in between. Take on any yeah. So now I can start enlarging the holes. I'm going to start by enlarging the ones in the frame and then tapping those and then I'll come back and enlarge the holes in the rails. Change the battery. Not too bad. Well, that went well. All right, this track is all done, and now I can go ahead and do exactly the same thing on the other side.
So I think it's gonna do it for this one. Both of the rails are all drilled and ready to go. The holes in the frame are tapped for those rails, so those are good to go. I have four more of the runners still to drill out, but I really don't need those right now. I won't actually need those until I get to actually cutting up a log. Um, so I'll get those done, but I'm not gonna bore you with more drilling on that because I wanna get this thing painted because I wanna get moving on the next biggest thing, which is gonna be the carriage. And it's gonna be pretty massive as well. So the next video, we'll go ahead and get the whole frame here painted and ready for that and never get into making this carriage. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything on the sawmill build, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. It's airplanes. Always the airplanes. Ba 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 ba.